Smartphone displays are getting really, really high resolution. Why not take advantage of that by running a tablet-like layout? I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now, and with Paranoid Android, you can. Let's go take a look. This is a Google Nexus 4, and as you can tell, it's a little bit different. And I'm not just talking the wallpaper, which is a wallpaper that comes with this version of Paranoid Android. You'll notice at the top, I don't have any status bar to pull down. It's down here at the bottom. I've got my back, my home, and my multitask button right there, but I also have my neat little notification shade that I can pull up on that side. And down here, I have a nice new tablet display where I've got one column and a second column, very much like email. We'll get to that in just a minute. But this allows me to save a bunch of screen real estate by putting all of this information in one bar instead of splitting it up into two. And this lets me see at a glance where I can go and what settings I can use. Now, how did I do that? Let's come down here into customization. We can do some themes, some lock screen stuff, some toolbars. Where this ROM really excels is in hybrid properties. Let's jump in there. Now, the first thing I want to do is change my interface back to regular phone mode. So you can see what I'm talking about. So there's phone mode. I can change global apps. I can change global colors. I can do all kinds of stuff in there. Let's apply it so you can see the changes that just took effect. Down here, I've got my normal large three buttons. And across the top, you can see I've got my regular status bar. So it looks a lot more like a, a regular phone now. Coming back in here, you'll see I still have some tablet style layouts, which is really kind of cool. That's where this ROM is really nice. You can change layout based on, you know, tablet, phablet, or, uh, or phone across the whole OS or across specific apps or both. It's so something that they call hybrid mode. Let's go ahead and take a look at phablet mode. And over here are global apps. Let's also use phablet mode for them. Phablet, of course, is a half phone, half tablet. Takes just a second for the changes to apply. You can see I still have essentially the same thing there, but now I can see if I can do this on camera. I can pull on either side of the screen to get a different drop down. And because my screen is a little bit off, I need to make some tweaks here to make sure that I can see everything in my notification shade and my quick toggles rather to be able to get at it. But Enough of that, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the uh, cool stuff. Let's jump into Gmail. Inside Gmail, you can see, again, I've got my list of stuff, and then I've got my, this is my list of folders, and I have my list of emails. If I don't like that, no problem. We're gonna go ahead and jump back here into settings, come back into hybrid properties. We are now going to go over here into apps, and let's see if we can find Gmail. Right now, it is set at 250 DPI and 600P. So let's come in and change that. We can change the size if we want, bump that a little bigger. We can change the layout, which is at 600 to 360 right now. Change colors if we wanted to. Let's go ahead and apply that. Now, this is one thing that it tells you it might break the first time you run it. Don't worry about that. If you have to, just launch it again. That usually takes care of it. If not, you may have to restart to get those changes to take effect, like you can see there. So that was the first fail. We'll launch it again. This time you can see it's just like I'd expect with my folder list over there and my email list here. And all I had to do was launch it twice, once to, uh, to get it working uh, or to you know, fail out so that it would reload with the, uh, the new layout. Really kind of cool. Now, this is just scratching the surface. There are lots and lots of other things that you can do here that we don't have time to go into in this video, but hopefully you have seen kind of what this can do and, uh, you know, you kind of like it. If you do, I want to hear about it. What did you like that I didn't show you in this video? Let us know over in the comments at pocketnow.com. And of course, make sure you share this video with your friends on Twitter and Facebook. For Pocket Now, I'm at Joe Levi on Twitter. Thanks for watching.